Aloha, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Mahalo for joining me on Restaurants of Hawaii on the Think Tech platform. And today I have a very, very special guest, and I mean that sincerely. He is Jason Peel, our 15th Admiral Hall of Fame inductee. Jason Peel owns Namikaze Restaurant, and I've had the pleasure of being there a couple of times. Hey, Jason. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jason. Thank, having me. thank you so much for joining me today. Jason, it is going to be such an amazing event, and I just want to talk about the Hall of Fame. And this year marks Hawaii Restaurant Association, as I said, 15th annual Hall of Fame. And in your opinion, just share with the listeners and viewers the significance of the Hawaii Restaurant Association's Hall of Fame event. What's the significance, Jason? Yeah. It's amazing. 15 years already. Um, I, I, I've, I've seen a lot of people go through and, you know, it's, it's, it's just really shedding the light on, on these individuals who dedicate their, their lives to the, the Hawaii restaurant industry. Um, you know, it, it, it takes a lot of people to make up and to, to complete that journey from, from the, the food, from its origin to the plate and to the diner and even more after that. And it's, you know, it's, it's so important to recognize these people and all the hard work that they do. Um, you know, there's, I, I okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to, uh, I just, I'm trying to like read when I'm not trying to read and it's just not working. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. Yes. Like yes. Yes. Jason, you have to know, you know, this hall of fame has meant so much to people over the 15 years as we've inducted people, right? And Jason, yeah. you have a list of people that we've inducted into this Hall of Fame. Now there's Jason Peel's name on that plaque yeah. that sits in perpetuity, right? Forever. It'll always right. be there. So what is the significance to Jason Peel of being inducted into the Hall of Fame? I mean, it, it's just such an honor to to be recognized. I I, I do this because this is what I want to do. I wanna, I wanna be a part of this industry. Um, I've dedicated and sacrificed so much to be a part of it, um, and and I've seen what it takes to get through this industry. Um, I've lived through it and and seen all the the good and the bad that comes with it. And you know, it's 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 really important, and I'm really grateful to um, this the Hawaii Restaurant Association for for recognizing the people in the in the industry. I, I, I don't, I don't, you know, for me, it's like, I'm still, I'm still young, I'm still growing, but, um, there's a lot of people out there that do a lot of great things on many different levels in the industry to, to ensure its success, hopefully for the long, long term for Hawaii and tourism. Exactly. And, and you, you have to know, Jason, when the selection committee was meeting and your name came up, it was unanimous. Everybody, including, as you know, just to go ahead and just check out who Jason Peel was, you know that somebody from our selection committee actually went yeah. out and had dinner yeah. there and wanted to go and personally meet you because he's part of the selection committee. It's important that they get to meet all of the nominate nominees. So you know you got to visit. For, for sure, it was hilarious. Um, and just coming down and kind of kind of hit in the background for a while and and made sure he watched me before before he even mentioned that he was there, and I like, I uh, um, yeah, he flagged me down later, and I I, I went on and talked story, and, and um, you know it's 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 just it's it really is an honor. Um, you really I, I really don't think about being honored or anything like that. It's I just want to see the looks in my team's face and make sure that they're happy. Um, make sure that they. Eat. They have somewhere that's consistent, nurturing for them so that they can grow and hopefully become the next person that we, we get in the Hall of Fame, which is awesome. Exactly. And that's the significance of the Hall of Fame. You know, the person on the selection committee, he went down there specifically because he'd never eaten there. He's not, he doesn't know who you are. So he's like, I'm going to do my homework. And he went out and he visited 
you know, all the restaurants that were nominated just to be sure, right? Because they want to be sure whoever they're inducting into the Hall of Fame has contributed to the industry. And Jason, you yourself has mentored so many people. Why don't you share with our viewers and subscribers a little bit about the mentoring that you've done? Oh, uh, it's, you know, I've been, I've been really lucky um, in the sense that you know, I didn't really think about cooking as a career. I always wanted to be creative. Um, but, and, and cooking came naturally because it's, it's, I mean, there's so many aspects of it that is creating. And, um, so I've been in management for quite some time now and got to see all the different aspects of it. And then I, you know, my parents were teachers, so I wanted to teach. So I had an opportunity to teach at Kapilani Community College and, and, um, and, uh, work with the kids in the competition and, and just, you know, in, in the classes as well. And. Um, right now I have, uh, nine, nine students with me that former students that are working with me. I just had one from Puno that just left, went to, went to Purdue to, to study mechanical engineering. Um, but just, just having people in there and the one, the student that, that's going for mechanical engineering, he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't have, he doesn't want to be a cook or anything like that, but just to experience it and see what work goes into it and. I, I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's all about a life journey and everything kind of comes together. It's just being humble, working hard, um, trying to take everything in like a sponge and grow and, and whatever I can do to provide experience for them, provide knowledge or nurturing and, and help them grow and find their passion, whether it is cooking or not. Um, that's, I mean, to me, that's the most important thing is to, to figure out what you want to do and create a vision for yourself and just go for it. Exactly, Jason. And you it's perfect that you say that because as you know, um, the Hawaii Russian Association, part of the Hall of Fame proceeds go to the Educational Foundation to provide scholarships for our culinary students who do want to pursue culinary and also school grants to the Pro Start High Schools Many of the classrooms need more supplies and the educational foundations su supports those schools by providing for them every year a grant so that they can buy all the things that they need to teach the students. Jason, I hear stories about, you know, how do you teach a, a student to use a mixer and a blender when there isn't even one in the classroom? Because you know, like, exactly, you know, I, I've been fortunate too, right, to, to, to come from Kapiolani Community College, and then, you know, um, leaving that to open some restaurants and finally opening one of my own. Um, but now it's, now I'm really focusing on high schools. Um, I've noticed the decline in, in the, uh, in Kapiolani Community College and even LCC for that matter. But, you know, there, there is a slight decline and we, hopefully we can, we can re regrow that passion in the high schools and, and help get the colleges going again and making sure that you know, the education system is so strong. Exactly. And these are our future culinary superstars, Jason. You know, yes. this year in May, uh, uh, the 12 high schools that we have under the ProStart program, we graduated a thousand high school students that had culinary education in that high school. And they're part of the graduation. And they have now food safe handling um, background, I mean, ex education. They understand all the different types of, um, you know, the different types of techniques, the technology, everything that goes along with culinary. And we're hoping, you know, that a few of them end up continuing and which is why we provide scholarships and they come back and Jason, I would tell you a story, this one gal, you know, all she, when I gave her the scholarship was during the COVID and she said to me, she said, auntie, I want to own a bakery someday. You know, we're talking about what are you going to do? And this gal said, I'm going to, I'm going to go to KCC and I want to own a bakery. Well, I spoke to her last year and she did graduate. She said, I just want you to know I did graduate. And now she's working at one of my favorite locations that has the best lemon crunch and TDB suit. And she's so happy with the goal that someday she still wants to open her own bakery. Just hearing stories like that, Jason, I'm sure you have many 
for all the people that you've mentored, the young people that you've mentored that has gone on to fulfill their dream, right? Uh -huh. It's it. That's awesome. You know, it's, it's, you know, and, and it's hard, especially in all these, there's, there's so many, like everything seems to be so easy to get. So, you know, it, it's hard for people to, to hang on to their dream. And, you know, there's, it, everything's hard. Everything seems so easy to get because it, everything's on your phone, but it, everything takes time and it almost takes more time than all these, you know, with the supply chain and, you know, permitting and all this other stuff. So, I mean, to be able to help people, you know, understand the business, know what to do to grow. Um, and then to be able to finally open their own one day is, is very important, but, um, it, it's, it's, it's a very hard process. And, you know, I, I just hope that people can come and, um, you know, through internships or anything, that, you know, even just to come and visit the restaurant and see how we do things and, um, just to learn the, the process of it. So they don't, you know, I, it's, it's, it's very tough business. The margins are so low, um, and the expenses are so high. It's, uh, it's, I would hate for anybody to go in there without, without knowing and fail because they're not ready for it. So any way I can help, you know, I always try to, and, you know, I have a lot of, uh, experiences, good and bad that, that I've gone through to get to this point. And I, I don't mind sharing any of them with anybody. So. And, and you have, you have to know, Jason, the selection committee identified that about you. And when the nomination came in, they read it, it was unanimous. They said, definitely, we need to induct Jason Peel into our Hall of Fame and be, honor him that night. And really and truly, when you first found out, right, was it, I, I guess I sent an email out to you. Uh, yeah. You know, so how did it feel? What was your first thought, Jason? Like, uh... <laughs> Am I the right person to represent? You know, and um, I know in my heart where I want to go is the right person. Um, it's just, I just don't. I for me, like a lot of people, it's it's very, very. Uh, I'm very appreciative for all the support that we get, and you know, hey, you're doing great. You're you know you're you're there. You're there, and it's I, I mean it's really hard to. Not that it's hard to accept, but it's hard to accept in the matter that. I, I know where I want to be and I'm so far away from that. Uh, there's so much to do, so many people to work with and help. And, you know, that I know that the industry, you know, it, it could use a little help right now. Yeah. And just, I, I, I see some of my friends there, they're, I had, I just saw one on Kauai that just closed and, you know, it's, 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 you know, it, it's definitely, you know, the, we need more support, you know, um, for, for people that are actually putting their time in and, you know, there's a lot of people that are, that are burnt out still from COVID and, and barely holding on. So, um, it was definitely a great honor um, yep. and yeah, I can do more and, and to, to, to represent that honor as best as I can. So. Well, you have to know ever since we've announced, um, that you are being honored that night, as I mentioned, one of my classmates, his nephew selected Namikaze, right, as one of the restaurants for my classmate's birthday party. And they're like, yeah, we want to try that place. They're being nominated and inducted into the Hall of Fame. So, you know, with that also comes the notoriety. And now your name is out there and people are now, you know, wanting to, more people are wanting to go there. I've been there so many times, but more people, right, are wanting to enjoy all of the cuisine that you prepare. You, it's an amazing, amazing restaurant, and you should be really proud of what you're done. Even, even how fancy it is. Like there's an app, and we ordered on the app, and it was like so fancy. We're like, oh, this is so easy. Yes, yeah, so, some people like it, some people don't. <laughs> like it. The process. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Right, and how are you going to please everybody? Right. So yeah. you know the things that the Hall of Fame really does too is it really positively impacts and really showcases the whole food service industry. This is one night that we get together at the Sheraton for this gala. And, you know, as Jason knows, because he's been in the room before, you know, we have many people in the room, hundreds, 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 hundreds of people in the room. And it's one night where everybody gets to get together. And like you said, Jason, you know, it's been really rough. You know, we're still really not out of all of the issues that the pandemic brought us, whether it's 
um, food chain, supply chain increases, cost of the utilities, our employee shortages, the rising cost of labor, right? We still have so many challenges. And yet, everybody wants to get together and celebrate. So, you know, one of the things is I wanted to ask you is, how does this event, this gala, positively impact Hawaii's food service industry? And, you know, it gives, it gives, gives an, you know, it gives that opportunity to, to really um, showcase what Hawaii has to offer. Um, yeah. Not only what, who's been in business for a long time, but you guys bring a lot of young chefs into the room too that, that create dishes and for people to try. And hopefully they're the next big thing um, that comes to Hawaii and um, supports Hawaii like it needs to be. But, you know, it, it, it's, just a gathering of people. And, you know, I love doing events because, I mean, some people like to go to the restaurant. Some people don't like to get out. But events like this where people support, you know, it, it gives you a different mix of people and different new people to meet and and to to, um, to get to know and hopefully create a con connection to. Um, so it's great for all businesses and just great for Hawaii in general. And as you mentioned, to showcase the new restaurants, the, the Namikaze, right, and have People say, hey, you know, where are you? And, and, and you know, I want to come down. And, and it's just a great opportunity to get everybody together again and to showcase all of our top restaurants. For so, sure. Yes. And so this is the question I'm going to ask Jason. And if you don't have the answer, don't worry. So what does the ticket to the Hall of Fame include, Jason? Um, <laughs> I hadn't had it. Oh. But all of your food, drinks, I think, oh, I think there's a bar. Yeah. Um, but they were, they had wine and stuff like that. And, and the show after. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, and just, it's just to get to connect to everybody. It's, it's, it's a nice, a nice gathering of people in the industry. Um, and it's, you know, I said, I love, I, I love doing events because I'm always at the restaurant. So whenever I can get on and do an event, I get to see all my friends and, um, people in the industry and it's uh it's like a it's like a it's like a reunion <laughs> of sorts so everyone's I mean, that's, that's, to me, that's the best part the food the yeah. second to, to to seeing everybody and you know just catching up and and supporting the other restaurants too of course exactly and, get, and going there and introducing ourselves and getting to meet them and all the chefs will be there you know they'll all be wearing the chef coats it's just always awesome and then on top of that, Jason's being inducted into the Hall of Fame. So he'll be on stage twice, right? I need, I, need, I need my music. Yeah, you need your song. I told you, you need your song. Because when you're walking up there on stage, Jason, to get yeah. your award, right? What song is that that you'll be walking up to? See, I'm not quite sure. It's it's, it's probably Guns N' Roses, but... You know. <laughs> Maybe we'll exactly. throw them to the jungle. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And exactly. I, I started that a couple of years ago, Jason, and it's so funny. I've had people choose the Rolling Stones and people have their little, you know, their alma mater, their, you know, song that means a lot to them. And they start strutting up that stage to get <laughs> their award. And everybody recognizes that that's the, the song, the Jason Peel song, right? So it's always fun to do. We just want to add in some fun to the event. So, Jay, do you want me to read the 11 restaurants that are going to be featured, or do you want to read it? Uh, you read it. I, I can barely re remember my own. Okay, got it. So, the chefs on Waihata, they're going to make some steak, shore fire, fresh shore fry, fresh grill and bar, 53 by the Sea, Kuhio Avenue Food Hall, and La Pina Cantian, can, Cantina. Duke's Waikiki, Kitchen Door Waikai. Jason, when I say Kitchen Door Waikai, have you been out there already? Oh, thank y'all. I, I would love to get out there. You're right. I, just, I just never get out. It's so that, sad. That big surf wave, you know, they're out in Eva Beach with that big surf wave, and that restaurant is awesome. But oh. Pounders, oh, yeah, that's who's coming in. Pounders at the uh, Polynesian Culture Center. Of course, the Sheraton Waikiki will be making a dessert. El Gelato, Hawaiian Pie, and of course, Namikaze. Yes, yes. And as we mentioned, you know, 
portion of the proceeds from the um, Hall of Fame goes to the Educational Foundation. And Jason, you know a little bit about the Educational Foundation. We held one of our meetings over at the Namikaze. So how important is the Educational Foundation to our community, our food service community? Oh, it's, it's extremely important. You know, and there, I mean, I, I grew up without, without the, you know, and it was throughout, without the information age, without, without email and computer and, and all this technology. And, um, you know, I have to learn everything on my own and, um, you know, it's, it seems very easy nowadays for, for people to get information, but sometimes it's not the right information. So, you know, some, some things don't work <laughs> online. So, you know, some things are, are, you know, the, the whole, the entirety of, of what's being shown isn't, isn't being shown. And, you know, just to have this, you know, going to school and getting your education and getting a real solid foundation before you figure out what your, what your passion is and what your goals are and what, what you really want to do. Um, I mean, it's so important. It, it makes it that much easier in the long run for, for you to, to figure out what your dream is before you actually go into it and, you know, maybe make the wrong mistake because you weren't fully prepared. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, you know, as much as people say in all these, you don't need, you don't need your education. You can just go straight into the industry, whatever industry it is. You know, it, it's important to have a foundation and to understand things before you, you fully immerse yourself in it. And, and, and then you figure out, Hey, maybe this is not the right thing for me to do. So gathering whatever information you can before you start something that that's going to be your life journey is, is very important. Solid, solid advice. As you mentioned, you know, the pro start program is in local high schools. It's a two year culinary program and it's a great opportunity for these students to determine whether or not this is going to be their career path, right? As they sit in the kitchen, in the classroom, making recipes and designing food, you know, many of the students will be honest with me, Jason, when I say, Hey, tell auntie, why did you end up, you know, your interest in the culinary because they're in the culinary program. And so what's your interest in the culinary industry? And they look at me and they say, auntie, we can eat in school. That's why we're in this class. But it's, you know, out of the mouth of babes, Jason. It's out of the mouth of babes. They're being honest, right? And then they look at me and they'll say, auntie, we got to eat the rest of our lives, right? My mom told me, you better go learn how to cook because you got to feed yourself, right? So this is a great opportunity and hoping that they fall in love with the whole culinary industry and creating, you know, wonderful dishes because food is our culture, Jason. Food is our culture. So when people say namikaze, they know that that's part of our Hawaiian culture and that's how important it is. And right now we are, right, right now we are still, we have tickets for sale. We're still collecting prizes. And I, as I mentioned, a part of the proceeds go to the culinary, um, the educational foundation. So if anyone has any prizes or they want to buy tickets, they can go to our website and they can still sign up. Um, they just gave me the five minute warning here. So I'm just going to go through Jason and just talk more about the, um, the actual event itself. If there's anything else that I miss anything, Jason, that you wanted to say before I wrap up the show. Oh, you, you mentioned the kids um, and just real fast, nothing, nothing special or anything, but just you mentioned the kids and, and learning how to cook a little, um, you know, even if they don't be come in the, uh, enter this industry and be a part of this, 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 uh, you know, you know, growing in the industry with, with, with chefs here in Hawaii, um, just, just taking the time to, you know, get to know food a little and, and taking the time to talk to their parents or their grandparents and and learn what they made and what they eat when they're younger um, to help promote, you know, just like you said, the culture here in Hawaii. And so we don't lose some of those those great recipes that people had. Um, just, you know, just being aware of it, just sitting down with grandma or grandpa and, and saying, hey, how are, you, how are you guys doing? Is, you know, what was your favorite thing to eat when you were younger? You know, and just just preserving a little bit of history is super important. Totally. And it, it's through the meals together with our grandparents and our parents and our family that that's those fond memories, Jason, right? And it 
brings back all those memories of all those times that we were together with our families. And that's what meals do. And that's, that's, the, that's the best part. You know, yeah. that's all we want to do is create a, hey, and not because we just want to create a space for people to come and enjoy each other. Yeah. You know, the food and the service, hopefully it's, it's just background noise to, to, you know, re, re, reconnecting with, with family members and, and friends. So. Exactly. And, and thank you so much, Jason, for all that you do for the food service industry and all your mentoring for those young adults, because people look up to you, Jason, and they say, oh my goodness, you know, one day we want to be as talented and creative and provide the kind of dishes that you did, you for, um, provide over at the Namikaze. Oh, so it's amazing. And you know, I've been there a bunch of times. So yes, I can say that from my heart. So Jason, anything else before I wrap up the show? Oh, I just want to thank, thank you guys. Thank the Restaurant Association for this great honor. And um, thank my team, of course, my family. And, you know, it's just, you can't do it alone, you know? So you, you got to open up and let people do what they're good at and nurture that. And, um, that's what we're trying to do and give everybody the opportunity to be something. So never, never give up on anybody. Everybody has a good spot. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today, Jason. Oh, thank you for having me. I'll see you on the 18th, September 18th at the Sheraton Hawaii Restaurant Association's Hall of Fame. And as I mentioned, anyone interested in buying tickets or, um, you know, providing prizes, because that's a great way also through the silent auction and um, raffle that they can uh, ex get their exposure for their business. So contact us through the website. And again, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka with the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the HRA Educational Foundation. The Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing, and supporting Hawaii's restaurants and food service industry. Again, thank you for joining me and we'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs>